goal of the 3D Experience Center is to take something that usually takes three years to build or three years to design and shrink it down to 90 days. And that's really what makes Wichita State and the 3D Experience Center different. One of the first areas that we walk into is called uh, a collaboration room. What we have here is a power wall. Any of these monitors can be can be shipped to an individual uh, computer station. It's called a collaboration room because it's set up for eight people. Eight people that have all the right tools that work in an efficient group uh, to do one task. And that is to take something that it used to take three years down to 90 days. One of the key components here with the 3D Experience Center is being able to visualize it in a real world scenario. So if you follow me in, is one of the special places that we have, our virtual reality center. And here's really the heart of the virtual reality center. It is, it is a power wall. What's really special about this is, is the size of the power wall. So you can kind of get a, a feeling of how large it is here. Most people say that I've seen 3D, I've seen a 3D TV, I've seen a movie in 3D. This allows you to explore it on a one-to-one -one scale. If you're, if you're watching it on TV and you see 3D, you're seeing a miniaturized version. On this power wall, we can bring a part forward and view it into a one-to-one -one scale. So if you see when we were able to explore a model then, you can actually go into the model and look at every fine detail. And then the thought process here is you have a collaboration group that works together. So you could have a systems engineering combined with the structures, combined with a hydraulics engineer, and basically really integrate a model in a virtual world. Now I need to be able to make something and make something that, uh, that uh, in a way that typically isn't done with by hand. So now we will enter into the robotics and automation lab here at Wichita State. So as you enter this lab, quite different. One of the special things we have here at Wichita State that no university has is what we call the MRAM. It's a multi-robotic advanced manufacturing system for MRAM. You'll like the names of these because they work in pairs. So we have Razzle Dazzle, Tick Tock, and ping pong. What we do here is we, we have six robots that do many different tasks and basically they work together to perform the task. One of the things that the Innovation Campus does is it allows students to get in here and work with robots. You go from a, from a Lego Mindstorm that people are doing in middle school and in elementary school and you follow that path through where now they get to play around with an MRAM here at Wichita State. It, it is truly one of the invaluable learning experiences and that, that's, that's what makes us different here at Wichita State is the applied learning. Having a student be able to, to work with one of these robots and build something that then when they, when they graduate they can take it to the industry and, and, and perform. The next room we'll go into the laboratory is, is, is called the reverse engineering. Joel here, he's, he's one of the directors of the lab. He's going to kind of demonstrate what reverse engineering does. Just showing you how easy it is to do, I'm going to have Joel just scan my hand. So I'm going to try to keep it still and show you how quickly it can be done. Just that quickly. I'm quite older than I think. Anytime I scan my hand, I, I, I show more wrinkles than I, than I think I have. <laughs> But it shows the detail. If I turn my, if I turn my pain hand over, you would, you would actually see my fingerprints as well. So that's how accurate the scan is. So again, taking, taking it, it's really that fast, taking a physical uh, part and turn it into a digital part. Then if I wanted to print myself a ring or print, or print a, a, a model of my hand, Basically now I have the digital image captured. So WSU is quite uh, unique as far as any university that I know of, of the, the, the amount of scanning equipment that we have. Now, what happens if you want to print? So that's the next lab is our additive manufacturing lab here at Wichita State is a whole collection of 3D printers. Various printers that do different things from the from if you go over here from the tabletop size over to the larger printers 
and then each printer has a, has a specific unique thing that it can do. This is one of my favorite printers because this one just uses plain copy paper. Every sheet of paper, it takes off, it glues and stacks it to the next paper, and then it uses, digi it uses ink just like your inkjet printer and builds up a model and then you just break it off. But basically you can see this is the type of resolution that we get out of the model. It comes out in full color and then you just break the paper off and it is, it is so this is basically stacked uh, copy paper. So this is one of the last parts of the 3D Experience Center and this is basically our showroom. Now this cast is quite unique because this was one of uh, my female students that actually broke her arm. She could take a shower with it, she could swim with it, and she could itch it if she needed to. So quite unique. I told her that yes, I'll let you do it, but I get to keep it in the display case when it's over with. So I hope you enjoyed my tour. Feel free to come and stop by. I love to have uh, fellow shockers here and I love to show this off. So I'll see you next time.